Some new developments regarding retired Supreme Court Justice Sandra Day O'Connor. Our NBC News Justice correspondent Pete Williams is joining me live now from our Washington bureau. Pete, what's going on? Well, she has sent a letter, a public letter, through the Supreme Court saying basically that she has dementia and uh, explaining why she has uh, decided to withdraw from public life. And let me just share a couple of uh, uh, lines from it with you, Hallie. She said, some time ago, doctors diagnosed me with the beginning stages of dementia, probably Alzheimer's disease. As this condition has progressed, I'm no longer able to participate in public life. She says people have been asking her about her current activities and her health. So she said, I wanted to share, I wanted to be open about these changes while I'm still able to share some personal thoughts. Uh, she retired from the court 12 years ago, and of course, the reason she retired at the time is that her husband of some 50 plus years, John O'Connor, had developed Alzheimer's disease, and she wanted to be able to care for him full time. Uh, he eventually, shortly after, uh, was uh, in a medical facility and died about four years later. But she says uh, she's withdrawing from uh, leading her uh, program to encourage public schools to to develop uh, more civics education. She says, I can no longer help lead this cause because of my physical conditions, but she says she's surrounded by friends and family. And she says, while the final chapter of my life with dementia may be trying, nothing has diminished my gratitude and deep appreciation mm. for the countless blessings in my life. Oh, Pete, thank you for that update. Uh, she may be stepping back from public life, but her mission of civic engagement is certainly still front and center, particularly now. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel. Why don't you subscribe? It's really easy. Just click on that button down there. And for more news from MSNBC, click on any of these videos here for the latest interviews and highlights. You can get more videos from MSNBC with our newsletters. Head over to msnbc.com newsletters to sign up.